Hello, today I'm going to be covering the Omron NB touchscreen to E5C temperature controller basic connection video. We'll go over the wiring, terminal connections, addressing, creating an NB program, compiling and downloading the program to the NB touchscreen, setting up the E5EC communication parameters, and then demonstrating that the program works. The recommended cable part number is the NB-RSEXT-2M. This is going to be a 2 meter cable. One end of the cable will have a DB9 connection. The other end will be a flying leads. The main pins that we're going to be looking at are pin 6, which is our RDB+. Plus. That's going to be our white wire. And pin 8, which is our RDA-. minus. That will be our brown wire. We also have the ability to uh, insert a terminal resistor by shorting terminals number 4 and 5, which will be bringing in an internal terminal resistor in the NB uh, touchscreen itself. Below shows the connection of the uh, NB to E5 EC temperature controller. We're going to be using COM2 on the touchscreen, so we're going to attach the DB9 to COM2. On the other end, we're going to attach pin 6, which was our white wire, is going to go to terminal 13 on the controller. Pin 8, which is the brown wire, is going to connect to terminal 14. As far as the addressing is going to be concerned, we're going to use reference manual H175-E1, communications manual for the E5 underscore C series. Section 4 and 5 in that manual basically deal with the communication data for Modbus. To convert the Modbus address from the E5C COM manual to use with the NB touchscreen, we're going to use the 2 byte column mode address shown in the manual. We're going to take that address and add 1 to it, and then we're going to convert the address from BCD to decimal, and then use that for the actual address in the NB designer. For example, the process value, which is address 2000, we're going to take 2000, add 1 to it, so we're going to come out to 2001. We're going to then take 2001 and convert it from BCD to decimal, which equates to 8193. So our actual process value is going to be 4x8193. Now we're going to go and open up our NB Designer, and here we're going to go up and go to File, New, and we're going to get a new project window, and it's going to ask us to give it a project name. So in this case, I'm going to call it NB2E5 underscore C. And then I have the ability to go and either store it in the default uh, project path, or I can go in and select a place on my PC where I want to store it by clicking on this here, and then it'll allow me to store it anywhere I want it on my PC. But in this case, I'm just going to go and use the default directory in, in the NB Designer software. So I'm going to go and say OK here. And then that's going to open up our project window. The first step that we're going to do is, is we're going to go in and we're going to go and select our PT. So the PT in this case is going to be the touchscreen, and I'm going to be working with an NB7W-TW00B unit. So I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my working environment. And it's going to bring, me, bring up a display mode window. Here is where we have the choice of either working with a horizontal uh, touchscreen, or we can change it to vertical if we want. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it horizontal. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that window. And that will drop the touchscreen onto the working environment. The next step is we're going to have to go and select the PLC that we're working with. In this case, we're going to be going down and we're going to select Modbus RTU Extended. And this, in essence, is actually going to be the temperature controller or represents the temperature controller. Okay, so now that we have the touchscreen and we have the controller on our environment, now we're going to have to connect it to. So we're going to go up to the connector tab, and we're going to be using a serial cable. So we're going to go and drag and drop 
the serial cable onto our work environment. And we're going to go and kind of position that in the center. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to attach our touchscreen to the cable. So we're going to do that by right clicking on it, dragging and dropping it, and then making sure that we actually connect it to COM2. We'll give it a little wiggle there just to make sure that we do have a good connection. And then we're going to have to do the same with our actual uh, PLC or controller. And we're going to go and attach it there, give it a little wiggle, make sure that it's connected there as well. Okay, so now that we have all of the connections physically made to the two devices, we're going to go and double click on the touchscreen itself. And that will bring up the PT property window. From there, we're going to go to the COM2 setting tab. This is where we actually define how the communications are going to work coming out of COM2. So in this case, we're using RS-485, so we're going to use the, the type pull down and select RS-485. We have the ability to select different baud rates if we choose. We can do that here, but in this case, I'm just going to use the default 9600 baud rate. Our data bits will remain at 8. Our parity will be even, and our stop bits will remain at 1. Okay, so now we got that defined. We're going to go and click the OK button there. We do have the ability to go and double click on the PLC properties, and we're going to go and call this station number 0 and say OK. And that's just basically a name. It has nothing to do with the actual unit number. We'll discuss that later. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we have that all defined. We're going to go and open up a window. We'll do that by going over here and clicking on the little plus button there. And that will bring up our first window. We're going to go and use the parts tab. And we're going to go down and look for a number display. We're going to right click on that and drag and drop that onto our screen. And that will bring up a number display window. Here is where we're going to go and define how our number display is going to work. So we're going to use PT is going to be HMI 0. Our PLC number is going to be 0. But in this case, we're going to go and click here. And we're going to use this pull down and we're going to use unit number 1. And that's going to be the same unit number that we're going to define in the E5 EC when we get to program that. <clears throat> our next step is to go and use our uh, set up our area variable. We're going to be dealing with the 4x addressing, so we're going to go and click on 4x. Our next step is to go into the address and put in the ad actual address that we converted, and that was going to be 8193. Okay, so that basically sets up the whole uh, read address for our numerical display. We do have the ability to have a few more tabs up here. We're going to go into the font and I'm going to go and make my font a little bit larger. So I'm going to select 48. I also have the ability to go and select my position. So I'm going to go and center my text in my window. All right, now my next step is going to be display setting. Once you go to the display setting tab, I have the ability to make my numerical display larger. So I'm going to go and do 200 here. For my width and my height, I'm going to go and set it up to be 100 to make it a little bit larger. And say OK. I'm then going to go and click on where I want to place the window on my or the numerical display on my window. I'm going to double click on the actual numbers and get that position so that it's more centered into my actual window. Alright, so we basically just created our numerical display. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go up to tools and select compile. The project's going to compile. And if everything goes good, down here we'll see compiled successfully with zero warnings, zero errors. 
Okay, so now we're ready to go and download. So we're going to go back up to Tools, go down to Download. We'll get the MB Download window to come up. We're going to select the HMI 0. Make sure that we have product project data selected. And then select the Download. You'll see it's actually writing the program to the touchscreen. And if everything works out okay, we're going to get a download succeeded window. And we'll say okay to that. Okay, so now we're going to come up and do File, Save, so that we have saved our uh, program. And we're done with the NB Designer software at this point. And then we'll go over and we'll set up our E5 EC temperature controller parameters. And then we'll demonstrate that the unit actually talks to each other. Okay, now that we've gone and downloaded the program to the NB, we just need to set up the E5 EC uh, communications parameters. To do that, we're going to go and press and hold the level key for three seconds. That will get us into the initial setting level. Now we just tap on the level key to get into the communication level. Here we're going to have to go and use the up arrow to change our protocol to Modbus. We're then going to go and tap on the mode key to get to our unit number, which we have gone in, in the NB software. We've designed it as unit number one. So we're going to set that to unit number one. Our baud rate was set up to 9600. Parity is even and subway time is at 20 and we could just leave that as default. Okay, now that we're done, we just go and press and hold the level key again for three seconds. The whole display will light up. And as you see, we have the actual two units communicating. I will go and adjust the set point and you'll see that it's tracking just fine. Thank you very much for your time and this ends the presentation for the E5EC to NB touchscreen programming.